Hey, I took the tape off of it after painting it black and then striping it with the tape and then painting it white and uh, came out pretty good. I like it. I think uh, the stripes in the back actually came out a little better. I wasn't really thinking much in the way of like uh, artistic design or anything. I was just kind of taping it up. But it uh, came out pretty cool. So that's uh, what we have. Uh, the paint bled a little bit as you saw in the previous uh, video. And there were some little like ridges because obviously you put the tape on the black then you spray a couple coats of the white so the white is two or three coats thicker um, then when you peel the tape off there's that little bit of a, a ridge and a couple spots where there was kind of like little like actual little like bump sort of curve up little things um, that you could definitely feel so all I did was I took an old um, face cloth and uh, just dry, of course, uh, but like a kind of rough, like a weird rough one um, that I don't like anyway. And just gave us a really good rub down all over and uh, it got rid of, you can still feel that there's sort of the little uh, difference in thickness of the white, um, but it got rid of any of those little objectionable bumps. Uh, so, I'm not that worried about it, so now what I'm going to do is, uh, and I took the tape off of everything, um, one, because I just wanted to see how cool it looked, and uh, the other thing, I didn't want to then have on the edge of the neck, like, you know, the couple coats of the white, then a couple coats of the black, then a couple coats of the white again, so already there's kind of a, a raised ridge where the paint is. So I figure if I tape it up again and just go ever so slightly uh, away from that little edge, so leave a little tiny bit of the rosewood showing, then when I spray paint it red, it'll cover up um, It'll sort of help even out slope a little bit of that ridge. But it's, it's really is nothing that's a big deal. I mean, it doesn't feel like anything weird. But uh, this is what we have so far. So tape it up and paint it red next. All taped up. And I pressed down the edges as good as I could do tape kind of wants to keep lifting up but what are you going to do right so taped it up with uh, almost one inch tape like just under and the quarter inch that I had left over from before and uh, gonna spray paint it all red and see what happens so You've seen me spray paint before, so you don't need to see me spray paint it red. So, I'll be back. It is painted red. Uh, I'm looking at the monitor of the camera, and this looks like almost like a... like a pink, like a rose pink color. It's not in real life, it is red. So, uh... Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, I see even the face of it, like it looks kind of different colors of red, but whatever. Um, so, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the, pa uh, the tape here and there started to lift a bit. You can see right there on the um, heel of the guitar lifted a little bit, but oh well. Uh, I am happy that the black stripes underneath still show through. So that's pretty cool. So, like, let me see. Is there a good example? 
Uh, oh, well, I mean, I guess, I guess right here. So, you can obviously see the tape. This, here, is actually a black stripe under the red. So, much like uh, Mr. Van Halen's guitar, uh, the Frankie, the black and white can be seen under the thin coat of red. So that's pretty cool. Uh, on the shark, the, it's uh, silver and red, and the lines are very distinct. Uh, they're not sort of like over, you know, over sprayed and showing up underneath and everything. So uh, I'm gonna let this dry, and I cannot wait to peel these stripes, peel the, the paint off, and see, uh, I'm sorry, peel the uh, tape off. Uh, the fumes are getting to me. I, uh, it's raining out, so I sprayed up in the attic, uh, and I had ventilation, of course. I mean, that's you know, important safety and all that. Um, but I did discover that the spray paint, I don't know if maybe just the red is better, but it's the exact same type, the three black, white, and red. Uh, but the red spray paint that I did inside, it sprayed on so much better, infinitely better, than the white and the black did outside. Uh, I think maybe outside, the, the spray particles dried kind of too much on the way. Um, so, whatever the case may be, I can't wait to tomorrow to peel these uh, strips of tape off. And it came out pretty awesome. I like it. So now we just uh, let it dry for a few days. Uh, maybe a day or two if I can wait. <laughs> uh, then I can start wiring it up. So it came out great, I think. And then the back of it. Uh oh, little piece of tape I left. So it's the back of the neck, the back of the body. Okay, stop swinging. So I think it looks great. I think it came out amazing. I'm very happy with it. Uh, still a little bit of bleeding of the paint. If you can see like here in the red. But guess what? I don't really care. Because it looks really cool uh, from like a few feet away. You can't really tell. So that's about it. So I'm going to uh, string it up. I mean uh, wire it up. And then of course string it up. And uh, then we'll finally see how it sounds. Because we know that it looks pretty, pretty awesome.